Today, we're embarking on a mesmerizing journey across scales, diving into the captivating realm of time. The dance of time begins in the microscopic world. In this world, the normal rules of life we're familiar with are replaced by quantum mechanics, where particles can exist in multiple places at once, only settling down when observed. How does time work in a world where cause and effect can become murky? It's a fascinating question, and one physicists are still grappling with. But let's zoom out to the world of insects and animals. Here, the perception of time varies greatly, not due to the bizarre laws of quantum mechanics, but due to differences in size, metabolic rates, and neurological processing speeds. An organism's size can shape its perception of time. For instance, small creatures like insects might experience time as if it's in slow motion compared to our perspective. This accelerated information processing allows them to react to threats faster than we can comprehend. This tiny creature processes visual information so quickly, about seven times faster than humans, that movements we see as normal might seem agonizingly slow to them. This almost matrix-like slow motion perception is due to a concept called flicker fusion frequency, the speed at which an animal perceives changes in an image. Flies have an incredibly high flicker fusion frequency, which lets them process visual cues faster than us humans. Ever wonder why a fly effortlessly dodges your swiftly aimed swatter? From our point of view, our movements are fast, but from the fly's perspective, we're moving in slow motion. It's as if they're watching a video playback at a reduced speed. Their fast metabolic rates and rapid neurological processing make our swift movements appear sluggish. On the other hand, large animals like elephants or whales may perceive the world in fast forward relative to smaller creatures. Their slower metabolic rates and lower flicker fusion frequencies mean that they may process information more slowly than smaller, faster animals, meaning they may miss things that smaller creatures can rapidly spot. As for human time perception, it's unique to each individual and influenced by numerous factors like attention, emotions, and even age. Remember how as a child, a summer holiday felt like an eternity, but as an adult, years seem to fly by. This is because as we age, each unit of time represents a smaller fraction of our life, making it feel faster in retrospect. Similarly, adrenaline can slow our perception of time. In a life-threatening situation, our brain goes into overdrive, processing information so rapidly that time seems to slow down, kind of like what we talked before about insects. But just as insects perceive our actions in slow motion, we perceive the movements of celestial bodies as incredibly slow due to the vast scales involved. The movements of planets and stars occur over such enormous scales and lengthy time frames that they seem almost motionless to us. A planet like Mars takes approximately 687 Earth days to orbit the Sun just once. So from our perspective, the red planet's movement seems extremely slow. In reality, Mars is whizzing around the Sun at an average speed of about 14.5 miles per second, or about 52,000 miles per hour. According to Einstein's theory of general relativity, gravity and time share a profound connection. The stronger the gravity, the slower time passes. This fundamental principle leads us to some mind-boggling possibilities. Imagine a gargantuan planet with a much stronger gravitational pull than Earth. If you were standing on its surface, your wristwatch would tick slower than that of someone back on Earth. Essentially, you would be aging slower. Sounds like a sci-fi movie, right? This phenomenon, known as gravitational time dilation, is not science fiction. It's a consequence of the warping of space-time, the four-dimensional fabric of our universe due to gravity. On a planetary level, time is dictated by celestial mechanics. The concept of a day depends on how long it takes for a planet to complete one rotation on its axis, while a year is the time taken to complete one orbit around the Sun. On Mars, a day lasts approximately 24.6 hours, just a little longer than an Earth day. 
but a Martian year is almost twice as long. On the other hand, a day on Venus lasts 243 Earth days due to its slow rotation, while its year is only 225 Earth days. Imagine having your birthday before the day even ends. What about our perception of time when we look up at the stars? When we gaze at the night sky, we're seeing light that has traveled vast interstellar distances to reach us. The stars we're seeing are not as they are now, but as they were when their light left them. For some stars that could have been hundreds, thousands, or even millions of years ago, this means that when we look into the night sky, we're essentially looking back in time. On a cosmic scale, time becomes incredibly fluid. Thanks to Einstein's theory of relativity, we know that time is not absolute, but linked to the fabric of space-time itself, bending and warping around massive objects. For instance, near a black hole, gravity is so strong that time dilates, slowing down significantly compared to a region of lower gravity. This concept, known as gravitational time dilation, means that an astronaut near a black hole would age slower than their twin back on Earth. Furthermore, the universe is not static, but is expanding, and the rate of expansion is accelerating due to the influence of dark energy. This doesn't affect our everyday perception of time, but it has significant implications for the future of the universe. If this acceleration continues indefinitely in the far future, the distant galaxies will recede from us faster than their light can reach us. They will fade from view and will be left with an increasingly isolated and dark universe. This is sometimes called the Big Freeze scenario, one of several possible fates of our universe. However, no matter how much the universe expands, the fundamental flow of time as governed by the laws of physics remains the same. What changes is our perspective, our perception, and our measurement of time shaped by our biological processes, our environment, and the cosmic circumstances of our existence. This journey from the tiny world of insects to the vast cosmos illustrates just how diverse and multifaceted our experience of time can be. It shows us that time is more than just the ticking of a clock. It's a fundamental part of our existence and of the universe itself, intricately connected with space, matter, energy, and life. Remember to appreciate each moment, for its duration may not be the same for everyone or everywhere. Thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please hit the like button and share it with your friends. Don't forget to watch the video on the right and subscribe. Thanks for being part of Cosmonology.